morning. Welcome. Welcome to the Welcome to the third Sunday in Advent. It's wonderful to have all of you here today, all of our visitors and our our older members who have come our former members who have come back to celebrate with us. Be sure and sign your attendance pad and place it in the offering plate. We are especially glad to have Jill, Vincent, and Beth here to worship with us today. Sarah Warren, we are glad that you came through your surgery so well and are at home with Leah in Huntsville. We miss you and we're anticipating your return. Alpha Wood is in self nursing home in room 213, uh, rehabbing from a fall. Doc Cater will start dialysis this week. Donna McRae is in Brookwood. Uh, they're trying to nourish her back to health. She's gotten kind of down and dehydrated. Mary Pugh is recovering at St. Vincent's. Her surgery went well. Let's see. The J.P. Simmons class is having a luncheon after church, and you are all invited. Marvin did the meat, and it, is, it smells delicious. Are there any other announcements? Okay. If not, we will continue worship with our prelude and bringing in the light. I want to call your attention to this beautiful banner over here that Doris Kirkwood did. It's a quilt. Uh, it's very beautiful, and we appreciate her sharing it with us. Now we will have the lighting of the Advent wreath with Andrea and Jonah Oldendorf. I Isaiah 35.10. And the ransom of the uh, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and the com and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads, and shall obtain joy and gladness. And the sorrow in sighing shall flee away. We light this candle as a symbol of Christ our joy.
and may the joyful promise of your presence, O God, make us rejoice in hope of salvation. O come, O come, Emmanuel. This morning we are blessed to have several things here um, to bless to, as they go and travel to other people. First, all these blankets on the altar, have you made them all by yourself, Faye? Faye Robinson has made all of these and they go to a ministry to the homeless. And so we're, we're going to be blessing the blankets. And then around the tree there's a few of the gifts. There's actually 25 children from Pleasant Grove um, elementary school that will be receiving gifts because of your generous uh, donations here at the church and so we're blessing those as well so let us pray together eternal God we ask your blessing on these gifts and the children and families who will receive them as each gift is unwrapped may your blessing rest on those who are receiving them we pray for the parents, grandparents, or guardians who will first receive these gifts. Give them grace for each day as they parent the children. Holy God, we pray for each child who will receive these presents. Might they experience the joy of this season, but more than the happiness in receiving material gifts, might they know the true spirit of the season that comes from the gift of the baby born in Bethlehem. Long after the presents are unwrapped, may they know the joy and blessing that your love and grace brings. And gracious God, we ask your blessing on those who will receive these blankets. Might they receive them and see the love and care given in making each blanket. May they know love and care that you bestow upon all people. Through the warmth of each blanket, may those who receive them feel the warm breath of the Holy Spirit as they wrap themselves with it. Holy God, we're grateful for the opportunity to share your love through these blankets. Might they be visible reminders of your love. O oh God of creation, redemption, and sustaining grace, we ask that you bless these blankets and these gifts. Bless all those who will receive them. May they feel the love, comfort, and peace of your presence, and may your light shine in them and be a beacon of the hope that is promised to all of us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite the children to come forward. Okay, did you see where the wise men are? They're closer, aren't they? Yeah? How many more days till Christmas? Who knows? Uh, Ten. Ten. <laughs> Ten. Now it's like almost double digits. Y'all should know that right off the bat. Okay, remember, what kind of tree is it? Christmas. And who's it remind us of? Okay. I got a different one. What's, what are on there? Okay, you remember the word for fish? <laughs> Kuzon is what he said. It's not too, you're trying. Ichthus, you weren't here, so you're not. Ichthus is what we learned last week. That's the Greek word for fish, and it reminds us of Jesus because it means Jesus Christ, God's Son, Savior. Okay, why are there three on this one, though? Three wise men. That's a good guess, but no. 
Okay, do we talk about the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? The Trinity, it reminds us that Jesus is part of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's why whenever you see a triangle, how many sides are on a triangle? Three. Three. Or there's three. It kind of looks like a triangle in the middle, doesn't it? And a circle, do you remember I talked about a circle the first Sunday, but you don't remember? It's eternal. There's no beginning and no end to a circle, right? Okay. Okay, when you started it, there's a beginning, but when you get to the end, then... <laughs> He's too smart for me. <laughs> okay, let's say a prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for all the reminders we have of him here in this place. But more than anything, help us remember his love for us. And it's in his name we pray, amen. Okay, y'all can go back to your seats. I invite you to stand as we sing together. It came upon a midnight clear, the first, third, and fourth verses. Oh. 
the messenger of the ancients. And it came to pass that the people said in their hearts, If the Lord is with us, where are all his wonders that our fathers told us about? We have been given no miraculous signs, no prophets are left, and none of us knows how long we must wait. O oh Lord, our souls yearn for you in the night. Our souls long for you in the morning. We wait for you, for you are the...